up guys, this is Aaron. Uh, we're in the studio today. I was putting together a song and I was using the glitch machine here for a second and I thought, oh, I don't have a good demo of this. So I should probably make a really quick video just to show off glitch machine. This is a really effective, really good plugin for adding a little bit of glitch, a little bit of variation to drum tracks and things like that. So what I'm gonna do right now is take you through every little piece of this plugin really quickly. We're gonna do some quick demos on very simple beats. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so, okay, first thing, let me just grab a loop uh, back way up to here and just a very simple house beat. Solo that. Now, here it is without the glitching, so very simple, very straightforward. Now, the thing we're going to do is experiment with a few um, settings on the glitch machine right here. So, the first uh, thing you'll notice is that there's a recording up here ongoing at all times just showing you what input is coming in and it's lined up with your beats one two three four there is a window that shows up anytime there is a glitch playing so as as the playhead moves through here uh, it'll kind of roll the dice on each of these boxes and either create a glitch or not if the chance is 100 percent it will always create a glitch so here is a glitch on the one the two the three and we'll just leave it at 50 percent there's one on the four Oh, hang on. Enable. Now, some crazy things going on. Let's back it up a little bit. Very simple. Okay. Uh, as you can see, it triggers uh, on the one, two, three, and four. The length of this window is controlled right here. So here it is, uh, we can right click to change the quantization. I'm gonna switch it to common so I can show you triplets, like the eighth note triplet. All right. Um, that's what that does, repeats is how many times it repeats, very simple. Decay is uh, how, how much softer it gets every time the glitch repeats again. So one nice trick is to do a very short one with a decay and you'll hear it kind of fade out. Kind of cool, uh, and then panning, of course, just pans left and right. Now let's let's have a fun trick here uh, and add a little automation to the pan. So here we have the panning now automating, as you can see, uh, in this case with a triangle wave, and uh, there's a little bit of skewing on that wave. So now you hear it go left to right. Uh, okay, let's keep that at one measure. Okay, uh, a couple other tricks. This section in the middle is pitch shifting. We can cause the glitch to uh, shift in pitch, and in this case, we're going to uh, put this chance of that happening at 100% and shift it up by um, a musical fifth. So seven semitones, and you'll hear it. Actually, back the chance off a little bit so it doesn't fall. Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low. There is a ramp. Uh, if this is off, it'll just stay. If the ramp is turned all the way up, it'll start off at that altered pitch and then track back to the original pitch. And of course, reverse. Uh, no glitch plugin is complete without a reverse probability. So this is the probability that the, this glitch will be played in reverse. Ah, let's just turn it up to 100. Here we go. And do some longer glitches. Very cool. Additionally, I'm sure you've already noticed there's a filter uh, over here, which only applies to the glitches themselves, as well as automation on that filter. So you can do... Interesting things there cause it to move. Let's do it slower. There you go. So you can do a lot of interesting things with this. Um, there's a lot of ways you can randomize this, for example, so that you don't um, always get glitches. They kind of come at unexpected times. We can also, since this is basically a straight beat, we want to keep um, some probability that it'll happen on an offbeat, but 
more or less stick to these straight beats, and I like the four and or the one are good places for glitches. So this ought to work. Yeah, that's about what I was going for. Uh, bring in a little more here. Uh, okay, so now let's hear it along with everything else. As you can hear, it adds just a little bit of variation so that instead of just that very constant uh, house drum beat, we have it jumping around a little bit more. Uh, since I've got you here, let's listen to it quickly. There's a section over here where the beat changes on this track. So let's just hear that first soloing. Yeah. You can also do this thing you can, where you turn the throughput down but leave the glitches. So now we won't hear the dry input, we'll only hear the glitches. And you can get very strange into a very strange space there. <laughs> As you hear, it adds, uh, you can make it add quite a lot. You can make it a chaotic mess, or you can just use it sparingly and here and there get a little bit of extra. Uh, and like all of our plugins, comes with a lot of presets and oops, that, 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 select one. A lot of presets and uh, there's an online section. Users are adding more presets every day, so you can um, download new presets every week. And that's all I got. Enjoy.